Our planet may not be all we ever dreamed of. There are no dragons, only one sunrise per day, and there's nowhere near enough Wi-Fi. But we can all agree that it still has some incredible places and features. Despite it being the only home we've ever known, there's still a huge amount about it that we don't know and we've never explored. We barely know where the nearest library is, never mind what's hidden in the jungles and ocean depths. Even on this page there's incredible things to discover. Just look at this rare and exotic subscribe button hiding just under the video. You should press it. You might never get this opportunity again. The moon crashed into it. Although the birth of the Earth was a very slow process, as a giant cloud of dust slowly drew together and formed the planets, the Earth did have some early thrills. The moon was a wandering planet called Theia, and it smashed into us. The metal core of Theia was swallowed by Earth thanks to its greater mass, but the rest of the debris left behind combined over a year to create the moon. That's why the moon has a much lower level of metal than we do. There's no crater because the Earth's surface was completely liquefied, and it soon settled back to a spherical shape again. This is great news because now we can deny all knowledge if Thea makes a paternity claim. The added metal helped the magnetosphere. The added metal from Thea helped to create one of the Earth's greatest security systems, the magnetosphere. Our liquid metal core rotates inside the planet, which generates this electromagnetic field, a bit like how a dynamo on a bicycle works. The magnetosphere keeps our atmosphere protected because without it, all the particles sent from the sun, called solar wind, would knock it away. If you're lucky, you can see it for yourself, because this is what the northern lights are. We believe Mars used to have the same field, but when its core cooled and became solid, it stopped. Now Mars has a really thin atmosphere. The magnetic poles may switch soon. Speaking of magnetism, it could cause a global disaster at any moment. Over Earth's history, we know that the magnetic poles sometimes switch, so the magnetic north and south change places. This could have devastating effects on all our communication systems, as GPS would stop working, and we'd have less protection from solar wind, so cancer rates would skyrocket. As an added fun fact, Mississippi and Alabama would become the deep north, and Australians would no longer have to live upside down. 2017 to 3017 photo. According to one of the greatest minds, Stephen Hawking, we only have about a thousand years left on this planet. Although he believes that climate change will have a devastating effect on us, that's not the reason why we will have to flee the rock. The real threat is the rise of artificial intelligence, and he's not alone in this fear. Over 20,000 experts have formed a coalition to block autonomous weapons being created. They're going to deep freeze Keanu Reeves and put him on the moon, because obviously we'll need him after the robot uprising. We've been customizing it. Humans are pretty difficult to please, and although the snow-capped mountains and deep blue oceans are pretty nice, there's always room for improvement. There have been a number of mega projects suggested for how we could customize the Earth to better suit our needs. These include things like using underground nuclear explosions to sink Panama and connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans as a way to control climate change. The people of Panama are probably not too thrilled by this idea. The U.S. actually spent almost $1 billion in the 50s and 60s on Operation Plowshare, which researched using nukes for massive engineering. There's also a proposal to build a mountain next to Dubai to increase rainfall and an idea to build a hydroelectric dam across the Indian Ocean to generate power. Plates and continents are not the same thing. Floating on top of the liquid magma are tectonic plates. Where two plates meet, we get earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountains. There are eight major plates and ten minor ones, as well as about 50 little microplates. However, we can't decide whether to define these as plates or not. No one cares about the little guy anymore. But plates and continents are not the same. Continents rest on top of plates, and we thought there were six, well, maybe seven, depending on whether you count Eurasia as one or two. But it turns out that New Zealand has been hiding its own all this time. Zealandia is mostly underwater, but it may become its own continent, just to give everyone that little extra bit of geography to learn. Flat Earth and Hollow Earth Theories It's good to question things that you're told, otherwise you'll end up with a house full of terrible infomercial products. But rejecting common wisdom and replacing it with uncommon stupidity is probably not the way to go. A surprisingly large amount of people don't believe the Earth is round. Flat Earthers think that all pictures of the planet have been photoshopped, and NASA and the Russian Space Agency have been lying to us all these years. They actually think the Earth is a flat disk, with the Arctic in the middle and the Antarctic around the edge. You can't go over the edge because NASA is guarding it to keep it a secret. The sun is a sphere, but it's only 5,000 kilometers away, so it's not very big, about 50 kilometers across. 
To be fair, there are also large groups of ants who believe the flat watermelon theory. Life was almost the same for most of its history. Life these days is pretty varied, despite the fact that about 200 species are going extinct every day. There's different sizes, shapes, colors, and smells. But if half of the 4 billion years life has been on Earth, it was incredibly simple and didn't change at all. It consisted of prokaryotes, which are the most basic cells that just drifted around with no ambition to grow legs, brains, or those weird things on a rooster's neck. Then suddenly, about 2 billion years ago, we think there was a freak accident, and one type of cell accidentally swallowed another, which became a cell nucleus. This acted like a kind of battery and gave it the power to change and create all the weird and wonderful things we see today. Spin The Earth spins at 1,000 miles per hour, but it's slowing down thanks to our old friend Mr. Moon again. The moon causes the tides, and as the oceans move, they drag along the seafloor, which slows the world down very slightly. This is called tidal friction. If the world didn't spin, then one side would turn deadly hot and the other would be permanently frozen. It's like the two options for a hot pocket. But don't panic just yet. In the last 100 years, we've only slowed by 1.7 milliseconds, and it would take almost 2 trillion years to halt completely. Stats about how much of it we have explored. There's still a lot to find out about the planet, especially when we dip our toes into the ocean. In fact, less than 5% of the ocean has been seen by human eyes. So who knows what kind of awesome stuff the dolphins have been hiding from us? No, my true name is Bubbles. There's plenty of unknown regions on dry land, too. Areas like Cape Melville in Australia or Greenland are largely unknown thanks to harsh climates or very difficult access. For now, this planet is the only one we have, so try to be nice to it. Whether that's by recycling, getting a solar panel, or just sending it a supportive text every now and then. Thanks for watching, and to find out even more about the Earth and all the amazing stuff that happens on it, just hit subscribe. See you again soon.